From the year's most exciting digital artists to a cabaret show and A-list celebrities like Jason Derulo, the 2024 FT NFT Awards is shaping up as the Oscar Awards for the non-fungible token space. FastX's FT NFT Yo Cerebrum 2024 Awards was hosted in the heart of Malta, within the historic Fort Manuel Castle, attracting over a thousand crypto and art enthusiasts, along with hundreds of locals queuing up for a chance to see Jason Derulo's live performance at the event. The red carpets were rolled out for NFT artists and enthusiasts at 7 p.m. CET along with welcome drinks and buzzing conversations about the blockchain-based future of digital art. This year, we are doing it in Malta. It's our third FT NFT or Cerebrum award. I think NFTs are not only pictures of piece of art. I think NFTs are more than pictures and gifts. I hope in near future, all our certificates, all our bills, everything will be NFT. So we are actually quite excited about this opportunity and we are embracing it. It's a huge step forward. The FT NFT Awards 2024 is bringing back significant excitement among established and emerging digital artists. Multiple award winners told Cointelegraph during the event. For some artists, similar events are the only venue to showcase their art and make significant new connections. This whole opportunity was because of NFTs in the first place. So the reason I like it is because it opens the door for connections with real people and real events that are happening in real time and all over the world. It's, it's a door opener. That's how I see it. Emerging NFT artists should use these events as a means of networking and distribution for their artwork. Kane Tullowin, the winner of FastX NFT Project of the Year, told Cointelegraph after receiving the reward. Keep working and talk to people. I was very introverted when I started and I didn't want to speak to anyone. I didn't want to travel anywhere. Once I, I flipped the switch and started meeting people and having connections, you can be great at art, but you lack the social side and being able to meet people and network people. You never know who you're going to meet who can give you uh, opportunities. Speaking to other award winners, the excitement was palpable. Many believe that similar NFT events could bring more mainstream attention. Before NFTs, people used to perceive digital art very, very differently. There used to always be this almost like a um, way of looking at things that fine art is more superior. But now with NFTs, it allows people to look at things and say, okay, I can prove that I own this, this is scarce. So it kind of helps having a balance, you know, between the two. According to John Charles, the winner of the Best Art Exhibition in the Fidgetal Space Award, the immutable and tamper-proof nature of NFT awards, provable originality to digital art, which will lead a new wave of growth for the industry. I think of the NFT side of the fidgetal bit almost as a certificate of authenticity. And then you get the physical patent as well. I feel like the whole blockchain technology could be quite secure and work in our favor for an artist because we can almost follow the line of an audit trail of what happens with the patent or what happens with the NFT. We're here at the 2024 FDNFT Yosu Ribram Awards and the atmosphere here is quite, quite electrifying, especially if you believe that NFTs are dead, which are definitely not dead for artists and for digital artists worldwide. We've just seen some of the most amazing NFT awards given out, perhaps in the whole year, and we've seen some amazing artists who are bending both the physical and the digital space in something they call digital art. One thing is for sure that we're definitely going to be keeping our pulse on, on this emerging NFT space. And guys, if you believe that NFTs are really dead, you should be joining these conferences, having these conversations and seeing all these amazing artists. For Cointelegraph, I'm Zoltan Ryder from Malta.